Pretty. Look at my garden. I see much work I have to do. I ordered 10 tons of dirt. I ordered 150 cinder blocks. I probably ordered another 10, seven, 10 tons of uh, wood chips. Uh, if you look at my garden, you see cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. I need cardboard. Any place there's a grass spot, you go cardboard, and I'm making a garden. Keep in mind, I have no idea what I'm doing. Zero. This year was at carrots and radishes. Started that about two days ago. This is uh, kale. I think I started in the past week. Keep in mind. Oh, look at it's coming up a bit better. Oh, there's coming up too. Colors back there. Bushes. I have no idea what I'm doing. It doesn't really matter. This is the sign I was given by I mean, God above. You hear that, God? I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. God wants to renew himself constantly. Every single moment, God is working for our benefit. That intelligence is also working our body. The goal of our body as the goal of, of nature is every, uh, every goal is for a continuation of homeostasis. Actually, these are our pea plants I'm trying to, I'm gonna take that sound this week. Okay. That means yesterday I reported um, what was uh, in a radio station that said 2,500 people died in Pennsylvania. Which is why the whole state is in lockdown because of 2,500 people. They said in order to protect ourselves, we have to wear masks everywhere we go to protect ourselves, to protect each other. We have to be quarantined in our homes. And people are listening. They're listening really hard because it comes from the government. And the government does not lie to us. It, it is, everything is for our benefit, for our protection. So these are statistics on Don Gia, Donna show, I think. My friend Mark Strong, I mentioned you again. I don't know why I should do that again. But I think he did. He, pub he published it. Of the 2,500 people who died, 1,850 were in nursing homes, leaving 616 people. And I don't even know how old these people were. I didn't know they had, a, from what I read, 95% of people who die have a pre condition, either high blood pressure or diabetes. That means. The whole state was shut down for 616 people. Because these people in long-term facilities did not go to school, did not go to bars, did not go to restaurants. They stayed at home. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into uh, what my theory is behind why they died and why during these three months. Because we had to look at nature. See those trees? A month ago, they, were, they had no leaves. Does that mean something in our body? Our body's always trying to cleanse itself, always. Every year, that's what it does. Our body's working the same level, it tries to clean itself. And if it cannot survive, it'll does whatever it can to make sure that you are living. But sometimes there's not enough energy to clean yourself because of medication, because of vaccinations, the body can't do it. It does the best it can. So it falls. Trees falls. We had two trees in my, neighbor, my neighbor's backyard, both fell. <laughs> There's a big pile, but those are the branches. Those are the branches I'm gonna reuse for all these beds. That's how life is. Nature does not stop. It always knows what it's doing. You really have to trust God. Every moment, he knows what it's doing. This COVID-19, two months from now, will be just a memory. A memory for us to learn. Trust in God above for answers. Do not believe anyone. You have to do your research. God doesn't make mistakes. 
as a 73 year old man rocking it and I mean I'm rocking it this morning I did my 300 push-ups two sets it started off with 10 sets now it's two sets one 200 one 100 I started at 715 730 I was done that's the way it is you get stronger and stronger the key in me is mostly fruit I eat 10 to 15 pieces of fruit a day and I got a lot of work to do. So I better sign off now. Pennsylvania, 616 people died of COVID who were not in a long-term care facility. I can't overemphasize that. Was the state of Pennsylvania shut down. Unemployment is rampant. Millions of people lost their jobs. They didn't have to decide between job, between housing and food. That's ridiculous. That is beyond insane. But you gotta speak up, my friend. Do your re research, speak up. I put another documentary, it's called A Hidden Agenda. You gotta watch it, share it, speak up. Martin Luther King said something about, uh, something about friends in silence. You cannot remain silent. There are many people speaking, but we need many, many more. I came back from the Vietnam War, very unpopular war, but I didn't know it because I believe my government. I'm not saying they're right or wrong, but when I came back a year later, two million people marched on a White House saying, end the war now. It's a senseless war. Two million people, the senators got it, and the war stopped. We have to do the same thing now. March, demonstrate, whatever you can to stop this ridiculous. 200 people a month is not worth a shutdown. Bye.